The merry month of May is here, and we are ready to celebrate spring and all its glory. May gives us Mother's Day, Memorial Day, Cinco de Mayo, which means Margaritas! Ay, 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 ay! Mmm. I am Jerrica, and this is my beautiful co-host, Maria with an H. Ooh, I like that. Let's get started. Arriba! So the first thing that comes to mind when I think of the month of May is, of course, Mother's Day. Did you celebrate it growing up or how did you celebrate it? Yes, girl. Dia de las Madres and Mother's Day. You know, they're back to back. Yeah, I think we only ever did the American one. Even though we're like super Mexican in my household, I think we <laughs> only really only did like the the American one. We always did like a brunch buffet. That's probably the thing I looked forward to the most was the food. Okay, but where did you eat? Our go-to spot was Hometown Buffet. Oh, you went somewhere? Yes. To eat. Oh, no, yeah. no, 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 and no. Let me... <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, it wasn't pretty. Ours was very much a go out to a restaurant, wait in a two hour line, get pissed at everybody in the line, and by the time you get in to eat, you're just over it. That's I'm that. over it just <laughs> listening to it. <laughs> that was very much my Mother's Day celebration growing up. How awful! That's not yeah. a celebration. Why would you put yourself through that? Just no. <laughs> you. Again, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Do you have a drag mother? <laughs> don't you dare. <laughs> well, funny you should mention that. Let me, let, me, let me cleanse the palate to answer that question. You better say I'm your drag cousin or your drag tia, but I'm not your mother. Well, I feel like it's a, it's, a, it's a joke more to... Everybody calls you the drag mom. I think the actual joke is that I'm a drag tia. Well, that's what you like to say. No, that's usually they're like, oh, Tia Jerica, or like, you know. Oh, is that, see, well, I never saw you as a Tia, but I could see why others would. Yeah, but you and I were, were more like drag comadres. Yes, very that. Codragas? Comadragas? Condragas. Condragas? Mi condraga! <laughs> Trademark that. You heard it here first. Condraga. Now, do you know the history of Mother's Day? <laughs> well, well, first of all, well, do you? That's the real question. As far as I know, the way holidays go is somebody it puts it into uh, a system and then it gets signed off and says, this is now a national holiday. I feel like a lot of these holidays start off good intention, let's say. Like, there's an actual, like, good message behind it. But then, I don't know if it's America or what it is, but... You know they're good at turning turning a quick coin. Well, we're getting some intel right now and oh, it says Yes. President Woodrow Wilson signed Mother's Day into law in 1914. Mm. Oh, and I see right here that the incarnation was by a woman named Anna Jarvis. Oh, she didn't like the holiday, so she created the holiday, and because it became so commercial, she tried to denounce it as a public holiday. There it is. We were just mentioning that. Well, I think we haven't actually said it, but happy Mother's Day to all our mamacitas out there. Salute to you, ladies. Muchos kisses to you, mommies. You are definitely something to celebrate it. Mwah. And of course, how could it be made without Cinco de Mayo? Oh, the Drinko. <laughs> Cinco de Drinko. Let's get like going. Let me say something. I'm not even drunk. Oh. Now, truth or false? It's Mexican Independence Day. Is that what they say? Oh, you don't know that that usually every year we have to remind people that it's not Mexican. No, well, no, I know it's not, but that's what they say. Do you know when actual Mexican Independence Day is? Mm, no. September 16th. Mm. 
And I know that because it's usually the correction you have to tell people is the follow-up. So what is this considered? It was the first battle against the French that they won. So it was, I don't think they were projected to win. The odds were against them, so it was a big oh. deal. But we did celebrate it in school. And you would think that if we were like doing the festivities in school, that they would, that more people would know that it's not Mexican Independence Day. I just, I, I never understood really why. <laughs> well, because school doesn't do a good job of teaching history other than, well, I mean, we're, we're here in this country, they only teach us American history as a general education. And they don't even teach it right. Wow. Well, on that note. Or all of it. See, and I never celebrated it. So I don't, I don't celebrate the holidays then. And I'm Mexican. Fun fact, a lot of people don't think so. But I am. Did you do... Any of the Cinco de Mayo celebrations in school? No, I'm telling you, I've never celebrated Cinco de Mayo besides people saying, oh, let's go out and drink tonight. I did. I remember they were going to teach us the folklorico dance. Jarabe Tapatio, oh, I remember. that sounds fun. If we have the picture, I might, <laughs> we, we might be able to show it. <laughs> but, yeah. Now, did you want to wear the dress? Of course I wanted to wear the oh, dress. Well, but I, I, I just love dancing in general, so I was just so excited and happy to like get to do it. I always love when they put their, in their little updo braid moment. I think we should have done that. Yeah. I don't know. Well, I got my little nod to our girl Selena here, if, in case you haven't picked up on that. And I took a left on the inspiration today. You went, <laughs> you went, you went loud on their own. <laughs> She said those. Girl, I think I'm starting to feel this little uh, well, limerita. We decided to review it. I'm, they're not new, nothing special, but I've never, I don't think I've ever had one. I don't know that I've ever had one in the can like this. I've been sipping this thing like it's water, and let me tell you, it tastes like this. This lime one very much tastes like a margarita. However, it has a little like like they threw a splash of soda in it. I love how we're actually matching. We're like instead of Fanta Fanta. You're right. <laughs> this was not planned. The outfit. Rita was Rita, worse. don't you wanna margarita? Oh. Rita Rita, don't you wanna margarita? Ay oh. ay ay. Stop me. So on a scale from one to five, how many margaritas would you give it? On a scale of one to five limes, I would give this a quarter of a wedge. Actually, no, I'm kidding. If you're into margaritas, probably a two. Since I'm not into margaritas, a one lime. You know what? This is how much of an alcoholic I am. And at this point, it's just like going through me. But from the initial taste, it's a one. Happy Cinco de Mayo! Cheers! Salud! Yeah. I mean, salud! Do the toast. Oh, everybody knows that when it's tired. Parima, oh. parima, just drink it. So, trickling on down through the month, in TV news, Pose is back! Yes! Pose. Live. Well, the third season just started this month. How's it going? I, I like it. I, I like it. it. You like it? Yeah. So, Catch me up. Yeah, no, they give you a little more in-depth uh, character art stuff. But I will say this third and final season, right off the back, seems like it's the last, you can tell it's the last season, and they're wrapping up quick. See, I hate that But why call it a finale? I think it's because there's backstage drama. Well, it seems to be the case. Did you hear no, about that? I did hear about that from you. Uh, well, <laughs> I mean, you know, I was just on the Googler Schmoogler and she's a writer, executive producer. So she lost her mind. So there was an event for yes. Pose and she went off the rails. She was pissed and she said, that she couldn't believe how underpaid she was and that it was so messed up and F Hollywood. It seems very, I mean, we've all had a very rough year. <laughs> <laughs> what about her coming out and saying, telling her man, her boyfriend, who's also a cast member on the show, stand up, you stand up. I f another crew member and I need you to forgive me. She must have been sipping on a strawberry. Yeah, I hope she's doing better. 
And I, I definitely think she'll recover from this. You know what? I like that she did all that shit, though, because that's something I would do, to be honest. <laughs> Don't give me a mic and a good time. And who knows? I mean, like you said, this is the final season, and it's, you know, representation matters and everything, so. Um, what was I going to say here? Girl, this margarita has got me. I'm, I don't know what we're talking about anymore. I, I'm not kidding. I'm, like, probably right here with it. And I'm already filling I'm out. I'm half, yeah. And also this month, May 22nd, is Harvey Milk Day. Yes. Which is a perfect segue into our next month, which is June. Pride Month. Woo! And as always, we like to keep it short, sweet, to the point. So that's it for this month's episode of What's Going On, Girl. I am Jerrica. And I am Mariah Monroe. And we will see you next time on... Que esta pasando, girl? girl.